<laughs> that would have been good. That would have been good. Outstanding. Tate Fletcher uh, killed it on uh, Rogan. Or no, Doctor uh, Drew. Doctor Drew. I didn't listen to that yet. The only podcast. That only podcast I listened to. But it was good. Sponsored by. It's. Uh, I love Doctor Drew. Was he was he on with with Adam and Doctor Drew? I think it was Catherine Wood. Look for BSN. Oh. But it was on Adam's show. So he was on. Oh, okay. 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 I don't know. I, don't know. Your host, I love Doctor Drew. Doctor Drew is the man. I remember like listening to a show in like fourth grade, thinking I was like listening to porn. Things got so weird on that yeah, show. Yeah, Love Line or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. weird. He has like eight podcasts. What the hell is that guy doing? Uh, Doctor Drew. Yeah. Yeah. You know, he was only doing Love Line for there. He was there like, for a while. Love Line for then... a podcast, and then he has like a everyday like talk show. I think that's what uh, Tate was on. And then he's he has, all in all different kinds of shit. Right. Then he has like yeah, like Doctor Drew News, which is like something totally different. Uh, yeah, he's like super into working out. He's on HLN. Yeah, he's he's jacked. Him and Catherine were, everything. We're yeah. talking about going to uh, Deuce's gym, whatever Tate's gym. I think right. that one's in New Mexico. Deuce's New Mexico. gym. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah. Taking Dead the deuce. deuce. I got the new clothing line for you. Deadlifts yeah. and deuces. <laughs> I, I need to. I need to go to that gym and uh, take a dump in the sink. Yeah, they better have some nice shitters if you're naming your place Deuces. Yeah, <laughs> I agree. Deuce is loose. Yep. Deucey goosey. <laughs> yep. What about Benny? Be- Benedict Magnuson, the one wipe wonders. Oh, oh my yeah, god, that was that was the best moment. I he takes know, what six he... Benison. <laughs> What's his first name? Just Benedict. Benedict. Benedict Magnuson, the biggest deadlifter on the planet and history of human beings, uh, told us that he takes six shits a day, and all of them, all of them, are one wipe wonders. I can't figure that Talk out. Talk about yeah, a he, healthy GI tract. Yeah, he just he, they must be tapered. I mean. One wipe, one. I always wish everybody, you know, everybody out there. I wish all of you, you know, that your shits may be tapered, but apparently it's yeah. uh, it's reached the big guy deep down deep. Yep, deep down, way deep. down deep. He's a huge man. <laughs> real meets real. <laughs> real respect, real. Real respect, real. <laughs> I see. It. Okay, what's the right way? Because I keep uh, seeing real, it. recognize real. Okay, and I don't know who said that. It's like a you know '90s hip hop thing. Real, yeah. recognize real. And I fucking think our hick fat 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 owl friend. I think it's it's something that black people say. And you can't yeah. say it when you're white. It just doesn't work. There's a yeah. lot of things and you can't say when you're white. Just obviously, yeah. Matt Vincent can't say anything. So, you know, correctly. Uh, yeah, he, he, he blew it. He blew it. The fat owl blew it. So we had uh, dinner on, what, Friday night of the Arnold with, yep. uh, with Benedict Magnuson. Oh, my God. He's huge. Yeah, it was really an experience. Benedict Magnuson told us some uh, deep secrets about... Uh, about Thor that were amazing, like that he can't go to the bathroom by himself. He likes to go to the bathroom in groups. Yeah. And then uh, I found myself in the bathroom with Benedict, and it was uh, it was quite frightening. I was uh, surprised how well as, uh, he spoke English. It was like my butthole has never been more uh, more at risk than it is right now. <laughs> he could do whatever he wanted with you. Yeah, he could have, and he seems interested, and, yeah. and and I'm open to it too. Yeah, very friendly. Yeah, I mean, think of the babies we'd make. Think yeah. about how fat fat their cheeks would be. Just come out. Talk about deep cheeks. Hey, now. Oh, he was awesome. He's uh, he's fucking crazy. Yeah. yeah. He competed in the Strongman over the weekend. We just got back from the Arnold. Yeah, you know what? You gentlemen. don't think about it because he's so fucking enormous, but he's tiny compared to those other guys. Yeah, what is he? Strongman. 6'2", six 6'3"? Six yeah, I think I think he's probably about 6'2", and he probably is about 330, 340. Uh, 350. Maybe 350. He's pretty thick, but... The but, other guys are now, what, 6'9", 420. Yeah, they're 400 pounds usually. Brian Shaw, who won the whole thing, I'd imagine, is at least 400-something yeah. pounds. And then Thor, 380, 6'9". Yeah, Thor is, yeah, I mean, it got, it's just one guy's bigger than the next. Everybody's huge. And the you, mountain. <clears throat> you had um, breakfast with um, the Yeah, floor. yeah, yeah. He was just he was just chilling, just eating. You know, everybody asked me, like, how much he ate and stuff, but yeah. he just ate normal. You know, uh, Benedict told us a story about when he first met him, how he was, uh, I think, about 100 and, 110 pounds lighter or so. Yeah, some we played, shit like, played professional basketball, I believe. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, so I think he was 6'9", probably in, at least in the 200s yeah. somewhere. Yeah, Benedict just said he, you know, he's like, people don't know Thor the way I know him. He was tiny when we, when I met him, and Benedict said he helped slap a lot of weight on his deadlift and stuff like that, too, and helped him gain a lot of weight. But you have to be heavy for that uh, that sport. The amount of weight that they lift is is crazy, 
and uh, they, you need just a big overall structure in order to handle that. Even even uh, Zadrunas Savickas, who's not tall, he's probably 6'2 or 6'3. Yeah, it's so thick. Short yeah. in comparison to the other strongman guys. Yeah, he's he's probably 350, 360 also. <laughs> he was in the same restaurant with us the other, the other night, too. Uh, yeah, he was yeah, eating huge. with Thor. Wednesday night? Wednesday night. He was thick. Yeah, I don't know. My thick whole, as a brick. My whole schedule is way off. It's I don't all know a what, blur. Yeah, I don't know what day it is. That <clears> it is all a blur. It was a lot of fun, though. No. It was a great show. How high up did you have to turn the TV when I was taking a shit? 26? Smelly and I shared a room for about two days. <laughs> and for some reason, it was a very, very nice hotel, but the um, bathroom was like kind of a, a rolly barn door. It was a, absolutely a barn door, yeah. With no lock, no nothing, and there's like cracks <clears throat> through it. It and wasn't no like fan in there. You yeah, it was air sealed, no fan. No, and no. my bed was obviously the one closer to the shitter. I don't know why I say obviously, but it was. And Smelly had to take one. I had to turn the TV up full blast to just, and then Smelly's in there listening to Little Wayne. Yeah, yeah, I'm like, I'm gonna <laughs> to, put on some music and then to drum I drop out the his deuce. shit. There's it's nothing so worse than hearing somebody like, as soon as they sit on the toilet, just yeah. like ripping ass right away. Yeah, yeah. Why is I it, mean, you know what's going it's on. It's so there, embarrassing but. though, but it shouldn't be. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's disgusting. Yeah, it, <laughs> it, is. it is really, really gross. Uh, in my house, the the front bathroom is way too open to the rest of the that, that right. part of the yeah, house that. and like when when we were having some remodeling done the designer was like can we do this and put this door here and right. like well i mean you could but it makes the space tremendously less convenient right. to do that and plus there's the expense so like you just hope your guests don't take a shit when they're at your house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't don't shit in there, please. Yeah, yeah really. Especially I hate since when I they, uh, put the toilet so close to the wall. That's the worst. You got to sit all crooked on the you know. One on of our fucking... bathrooms here is kind of like that. Yeah, yeah, it's You're super sitting close. Sideways. You're like, why? Why the fuck is it designed that? Yeah, way? I don't know. I think that's a Mike Jones song. What do you know about Mike Jones? What did he say? I'm he... sitting sideways. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> on the toilet. Yeah, I don't know what he's referring to, but I think he's talking to about his lowrider car, but. It's all the same. Oh, he's like tilting to yeah, the side? Yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Almost the He's same. not talking about taking a shit? He might be. He might be above us. God damn. You know how we were talking about uh, the fireworks in, in Iceland on New Year's Yeah, yeah I saw you post a video. Did, I didn't you, watch have it. Have you seen it? I'll just show you just a little bit of it here. You can get an idea very quickly. Whoa. Yeah, yeah Benedict that was word. talking about the uh, New Year's uh, fireworks. He was talking about the training environments. Oh, my gosh. Wow. They're just letting them off over, like, uh, skyscrapers. Looks like they're setting them off on the top of every building. people's houses and stuff. Wow. They just have illegal uh, yeah, fireworks yeah, that we yeah. can't. I, I wa- want to say within, like, the last 10 years, you could, like, fire stuff off like that in, like, Washington and some cities or yeah. states, yeah? But, but these are all, like, professional quality fireworks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks nuts. You're yeah. not allowed to have fireworks at all in Davis, where I live. Yeah, it's just too dry. Isn't that weird? No. It's I crazy. Do, I won't carry that on, but that that's an eight-minute video, and that's all it is. It's just one long, slow pan around Reykjavik. And Rinky Dink Reykjavik. <laughs> what? How long did Matt say they go on? Like three I hours? I don't know. Yeah, he said like it was that? amazing. Yeah, just super crazy, amazing. And Benedict said that uh, not being in Iceland uh, on New Year's Eve is sad. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah. Benedict was was awesome, man. He was talking about training a lot and. Uh, what we ran into, what I ended up running into uh, with a couple of different people we ran into, like Ed Cohn and a few other guys, um, you know, we always fuck around with these guys, but we talk a little bit about training every once in a while. And uh, with Benedict, uh, with Thor, with Ed Cohn, and a few other guys we ran into, uh, uh, Chad Wesley Smith, uh, a lot of those guys, you know, they're, they're saying a lot of the stuff that we talk about here on the show all the time. Uh, and that's is that is you're not trying to always train maximally. You're trying to train optimally. You know you're trying to find the weights that are going to give you a good response, uh, but not really go too much over them. And when you do that, it just makes you go backwards. Benedict said that by the time he got to the 1019 deadlift that he did, uh, that he was fucking pissed because he didn't lift anything heavy in training. He was just like angry. He did uh, eight sets of two with uh, 400 kilos, so that's eight eighty one or something. Yeah, that's light yeah. for him. That's you know it represents like eighty eight percent or some yeah. shit like that, whatever the number would be. Uh, but that's you know light light for him. 
And that's the, the point is to get in good, clean reps that allow you to work hard and that allow you to challenge your body and challenge yourself, but they don't wreck you so bad that you go backwards yeah. or you yeah. can't uh, proceed to the next <clears throat> workout. Wendler said the same thing. Yeah, Wendler's been preaching that for, for, for a very long time. Actually, I listened to that. I, 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 His book is all about that. People right. tell me all the time, oh, I, re- I read 531, and they, then they ask me some other stuff about how to get stronger. And I, I tell them, you know, train within your means and stuff like that. And I'm like, that's actually in Jim's book. Yeah. I don't know what you copied or what you did to, you know, yeah. get the 531 or if you just decided to do 531 on your own. Uh, but you should actually read the book. Yeah. <laughs> right. Buy the book and actually, you know, pay attention to what's in it. Yeah. We uh, we got to hang with him um, Saturday night, I want to say. I don't know. It's all yeah, about it. It was it was it was Tate Fletcher and. Uh, and Jim Wendler at the same table. Had they been able to hear each other well, it would have been a hell of a conversation. But yeah, as it was, it was eight really, or nine of us. It was really, yeah, it was really great. And I um, actually uh, walked with uh, walked with Jim, had a conversation with him right up until the point that Barbell Shrugged uh, had him on. Um, and I, he's just awesome. I just love that guy. Yeah, he's a good dude. He's uh, he's a little different. You know, he likes to kind of hide and uh, he doesn't do things traditionally. He's not on uh, Instagram and Facebook and stuff posting about his uh, product. He's not trying to pump it and sell it. He's yeah. just made a good product. And if you want to fucking buy it, then buy it. If you don't, then, you know, no big deal. I did listen to that uh, that episode that they recorded after I went home to bed. Um, and he said exactly the same thing about about not maxing out right, all right. the time right. and how just that just kills you. Um, when I asked him uh, several months ago about uh, Instagram, um, you know, I just told him, I'm like, it's dumb just not to have one. Just take a picture of your fucking drum set. Take a picture of your guitar, your kid fucking doing drum. Like, just get something up there because people will talk about your book and you'll make more money because of it. And he and he's done that. He's put it up and there's, you know, he's he's uh, acquired a decent amount of uh, followers, but his response was basically, you know, he said, no one's ever done anything great through the internet. <laughs> you know, I thought that was kind of funny and kind of an old school way of thinking of things because a lot of great things have come through the internet. Right. It's, it's changed the face of the world, basically. Uh, there's, yeah. uh, I mean, there's people, be, there's people uh, getting freedom because of like e- email and internet and people having more access to uh, other other people. Yeah. So I mean, there's all kinds of crazy shit going on. Revolutions there. around the world based off yeah. of you know yeah. Twitter and shit. That's right, right. It's fucking weird, but anyway, that's his perspective on it, which I think is interesting, and it and it, it's his view, you know. Right, exactly. Not right or wrong. It's his view of it. <laughs> it's his view. We also visited uh, Matt Wenning's gym. Yeah, man, Matt Matt Wenning is uh, is awesome. He came by the booth as well. Yeah, I didn't um, get to say what's up. Oh, you didn't get to see him? I was slanging. Oh, you were slanging yeah. slangers. I, I didn't get to talk to Matt. I also didn't get to talk to uh, um, his girlfriend came by Sam the booth. Hey now. I didn't get yeah. to talk to her, or yeah. did I? Yeah, she was pretty. Yeah, I didn't get to talk to Sam Berg. Yeah, Good job, I was Matt Wenning. bummed we were having trouble with the uh, transaction system on the iPad when... Uh, the whole time that uh, Sam Bird was there, which bums me out because he's my uh, he's my longtime man crush. Yeah, it's weird, you sure. know, having that many people, uh, you know, come over to the booth and hang out. This, uh, you know, one dude stronger than the next. Uh, right. Brandon Lilly came by. Chad Wesley Smith. I mean, all these guys, you know, squatting nine hundred pounds plus, like it, like it ain't no thing. You know, it's just right. Derek Kendall. Tom Callis, who squatted little uh, eight, Tom, yeah. squatted eight hundred in the animal cage, and I think he's done seven something officially. Um, uh, what uh, what does he compete at one eighty one or yeah, something? Yeah, one sixty fives and one eighty one. Yeah, so I mean, Jeez. he might he might weigh one ninety right now yeah. or whatever, but th- who cares? He's, he looks like he's two thirty. He's fat as shit. Oh <laughs> my god, he's so fat. Yeah, but <laughs> but he doesn't actually. He's it's because he's five four. He's he crying doesn't. inside right now. Yeah, maybe I think it's too. his fupa that makes him look fat. His defense, <laughs> yeah. you know, I don't think he's actually fat. It's just that giant fupa that he has. It just <laughs> it is pretty big. It's yeah, kind of weird sticking out. I yeah, know. I didn't think he would. Yeah, he would bring that. Men to don't the, usually into the public. have that. Yeah, men don't yeah. usually have that. No. He's got something different it's than the rest. Gross. Of us. And then he paid that poor girl to come hang out with him in the booth. Yeah, with Leanna Carr. No, well, that too. <laughs> <laughs> Hey now, shout out to Leanna Carr. Hey. She probably doesn't listen. Hey, the heck with her. She probably does. nobody listens. I know. Oh, but everybody. Nobody. Was. Shout out to everybody who came up to us individually and thanked us for everything that we do. Because 
it feels really good to get that kind of. And by the way, please stop listening. Like if you're if you can hear us right now, you're probably having the worst day of your life. Just turn the volume down. <laughs> I, I had people say that you know, like we make their just day. tune out. Just do us a favor. Yeah. Do yourself a favor. I never made anybody's day in person, so you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, if they were looking at us, it'd be different. Yeah, I heard like, a bunch of people talk about how they listen to old old episodes. You guys like you guys were like, uh, "Shit, man, it's gonna end right here. We're not gonna make it to episode five. We're not gonna make it to episode six. We're not gonna yeah. make it to episode seven. A guy told me that he listens. And to- here we are on the mountaintop. <laughs> yeah, what are we near a hundred? Uh, this is gonna be. I want to say eighty. Oh two? man, we got to do a, a hundred episode giveaway on the next 83? one on the eighty third one. Eighty third, eighty third episode yeah. giveaway. Yeah, this no is the hundredth, that. hundredth uh, episode. Get, but it'll be on the we'll 83rd give away one. some uh, smelly underwear. A ge- oh, or or, or uh, uh, micro sheet uh, game worn uh, no uh, underwear shorts. Yeah, we somebody can do that. brought me. Uh, sorry, somebody brought us Monster Energy drinks, and they said, "Sorry, man, I couldn't find a fucking flux capacitor." <laughs> Because Jim fucking has one built it, yeah, here. somewhere. Yeah, we, we can go to the hundredth episode. We can go to it now. Yeah, we could record right, it tomorrow. We could just skip seventeen. How do you do that? I don't know. Maybe we'll go live again for one hundred. Oh, that'd be nice. I think. Would it be seventeen episodes that we skip, or would it be sixteen? If we're at eighty-three, I mean, I'm not that good at math, <laughs> but no, but it. How many would it actually be? Because there would be, you know, to get to the hundredth, or we'd be on one hundred and one. If we did seven, oh, if, if we, we had to skip it, eighteen, I fourteen. Think. I'm so confused. Where's robot when you need him? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, trying to be a doctor. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And what does he do? Going to be a doctor this summer? He doctor can't of, be a doctor. A math doctor. For yeah, what the is record, that? You can't be a doctor and deadlift 700 pounds at the same time. That's why he missed it the other day. Yeah. Oh yeah. Is he best friends with Doctor Seuss? Because no one knows what he's a doctor of either. Oh. Doctor Seuss is a doctor of rhymes, isn't he? I, think, I don't know. I, I thought that was like the Run original, DMC or something. The original rapper. Yeah. Doctor Seuss. Dr. Dre, maybe? Maybe. Yeah, is he What's a doctor? He? I don't know. Is who? that why Dr. Dre is a doctor? Who, who gave him that of title? Dr. Seuss? Uh, Eminem says he needs a doctor. He's got a whole song about yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah, why is that? Is that because he's mentally challenged? He's got a monster in his bed? I don't know. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> what, song is, what song is that? Uh, he sings the chorus about having a monster in his bed. He's got a monster under his bed. Yeah, but yeah. is that a white well, monster? He doesn't, sing the, he doesn't sing the chorus. It's a girl. She's singing right. to him. It's like though. Rihanna or something. It might be shit. Rihanna. Yeah. What kind of white monster does she have? <laughs> I don't know what they have underneath the bed. She's dating someone weird, isn't she? I, is he saying that he has a white monster in his bed and he can't resist the temptation to drink in the middle of the night? Maybe. But who stores <laughs> that? That would really there? be a problem. But who stores their energy drinks underneath their mattress? That's a good question. Maybe he's got a fridge down there. He's rich. Maybe. He is rich. He could have a fridge everywhere if he wanted. <laughs> yeah. I'd like he, to point he out He has that. an elevator. He's got an elevator in his fucking house. Yeah, he probably does. Yeah. He probably doesn't have to sit sideways on his toilet either. Well, probably not. He could probably sit straight ahead. Side Who was sitting sideways? Uh, Mike Jones. <laughs> <laughs> Why the hell is he sitting sideways? I feel what? so bad for him now. We should send him Do you know something. the story of Mike Jones? No, his, uh, his first rap song. You know who he is. Yeah, the rapper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. His Mike first, Count, yeah. yeah, he's the best. They just keep saying his name. That's the best way to get famous. Yeah, Jim Mike. Mike. His very first uh, rap song. He like uh, wrapped his phone number. I forgot how it went, but it was so funny. And it was his actual phone Eight, number. Eight six oh. seven five three zero oh, nine. <laughs> Not that one, but That's it was something of like that. Number. And so everyone would call, and he would like pick up sometimes it, for like probably three months until he had to cancel the number and change it. So that's, amazing. That's crazy. That's the most I amazing thing that. ever. He's amazing. <clears throat> Just I, riding around a fucking piece of shit car in Texas. I'd like to point out that we all were asked to sign a monster. Yeah, I posted a picture of that. Yeah, that was it, amazing. It's impossible. This whole weekend was a little weird, man. We got a <laughs> foam roller with our faces on it. That blew my mind. I signed some guy's neck. I signed Drew Canavero's thigh. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, I, now. I, I He's signed, got big quads. Yeah. Yeah, I had, to sign, I had to do middle name and everything. Middle name? Wow. Well, because it's such a big canvas. Yeah. Drew Canavero, what did he squat? Uh, 365 with his heels touching each other? Or something? I don't know. Yeah, something yeah. stupid. Something or like, like 450 that. for like a 30-second pause. Don't or, try that at home. Man. I'd like to point out that Ed Cohn recognized uh, Drew's... Real recognize real! <laughs> <laughs> exactly, quads through his shorts. We need uh, a, we booth. need a, we need a fucking <laughs> bing when real recognize real happens yeah. right there. Bing. Yeah, yeah. We need to get somebody in here on some. Yeah, we need sound a, effects. we need a thing. We have, a, we have money for that. Is Drew? Yeah, we have a, we could get a sample Where's box. Where's sponsors? Yeah, where are you guys at? Can't they send we us a, a sample couple box? box? Somebody. Um, 
Drew's taller than a Ed, comment huh? box. Yeah, Drew's a little taller than Ed. Yeah, that's nuts. I hung out with uh, Drew and uh, another guy whose name I'm not going to remember. Who's starting a podcast called Brute Strength? I hung out with him and actually did their show after uh, we were done on Sunday. I was tired as fuck, but it was it went really well. As a matter of fact, yeah. Drew. Matt asked me to sit in on the barbell shrugged. I was like, look, like there's three barbell shrugged guys. There's you. There's Jim Wendler. I'm fucking tired as hell. I literally won't say a word the whole time. I'm well, they have, sit they, have, there. they have four microphones. So. Yeah. Yeah, I would, I it was wasn't going to happen. I, I, I was way too tired. I hung out until the, till they started because uh, Jim was like, I can't do this without people I know here. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, you were great on our show. You said, yeah, I know. I was high as fuck. I said, yeah, of course you were high as fuck. We all knew that. That's not a question. But um, no, he, he did actually, did, he did great on that show. And um, I think having Matt there. He watches helped. a lot of TV shows and I, I don't understand. He's a big Downton Abbey fan. There was a huge conversation I don't for understand. about half an hour and I didn't get any of it. You were no. talking, uh, me and you were probably the only ones being quiet. Andy was like naming all these movies I've never heard of. Jim and Tate are going back and forth, yeah. all this intelligent Me, TV you, and shows. Jesse could have easily just left, and yeah. no one would have even noticed. I know. Probably. <laughs> we wouldn't have noticed. We did leave. We went and got dessert and came back, yeah. and you guys didn't even know. I uh, I don't watch that much. Like uh, I, I love TV. I'm not, I'm not one yeah, of those yeah. people like, oh, I'm too busy for TV, but I do not understand how they have the amount of time that they do to watch as many shows as they do. I, I don't. Yeah, I can't keep up with series just because of the timing. Yeah, because you know, like our schedule's a little uh, here or there, and then uh, I, do I watch don't know. like Shark Tank, and that's kind of all. That, I get me chance. too. I love Shark Tank. Uh, yeah, I don't watch. I watch, show. watch Game of Thrones, and that's, that's about fucking it. zombie show. I watch oh, the zombie hey, show. Tosh point oh. Uh, yeah, guess sometimes. Who, guess Walking who made Tosh point oh this week? Who did? Uh, Julie uh, Leduski's husband. Oh, hey now. Did oh, Matt? You see, yeah, like a video about a, a year ago. He he ate shit after a deadlift. Have you oh, seen wow. that? So he deadlifts something off a huge deficit. And then he puts it down, and he's fine. And then he stands, and he's fine. Yeah. And then about ten seconds later, he just eats shit into the side of a rack. That's the worst. And it made it on a whatever. And Tasha's like only joke. Um, he's like a uh, deadlifts are literal deadlifts. <laughs> you know, it's like oh, you could have right, come right, a right. lot yeah, funnier yeah, than that, buddy. Yeah, somebody could have done better. Than that. Yeah, yeah, Jesse's known them forever. Yeah, but it's cool they got on there. Yeah, there's a cool. old video of Ed Cohen. He's like injured. His like back hurts when he's dead when he's uh and he's still deadlifting like a monster you know he pulls like uh eight thirty or eight fifteen or something and uh, maybe he does like two reps with it and he's moving super super slow normally he's pretty explosive and he puts the weight down real slow and real casual and he stands up he, it looks like he's trying to go through like a checklist like am I okay like am I or am I fucked up and he's like all right I f- I feel okay goes to take a step over the bar and just passes out <laughs> and just hits the floor. <laughs> And then he does, and then the next shot is a video of him talking, and he's like, "Yeah, I was injured during this workout." He's like, "I I uh, hurt my back a few weeks ago." He's like, "Then I passed out." He goes, "Anyway, so here I am doing some rear delts, and then it's ne- goes in the next shot. He's finished, not giving a shit. Finishes his workout. That's great. Passed out. Probably shit his pants. Yeah, that's, he probably did shit his pants. That's rough. I feel so alive. I've just shit my pants. What else did we do? We went to Matt, uh, Matt Winnings. Did a little seminar. A seminar for some uh, wounded warriors. That was amazing. That was that awesome. That was really cool. Shout out to Wounded Warrior Project. That was uh, awesome, and it was cool to be a part of that and to help those guys out. They were excited. They were motivated, and they fired us up, too. Yeah, I mean, they were was, funny, having a good time. It was uh, interesting to go around the room as they introduced themselves, saying, you know, that they were med- they were all basically, there was 15 of them or so, they are all medically retired. Yeah. Um, so, you know, shout out to them for uh, putting their lives on the line. Fucking awesome. Anywho's, Anyhow. and then we went to Rogue. Yep, then we went to Rogue Fitness, and we got to play around over there. Mikey did some uh, heavy dead whiffs. I kind of just applauded him <laughs> and watched. And we hung out with Cesaro. Yeah, yeah, WWE Cesaro was there. It was amazing. We most just positive guy in the world. He's amazing. We just walked into the stores. If you go into Rogue, um, they're I believe they're manufacturing and stuff's a little bit elsewhere now in some of their warehouses, but their main offices are in this building. And you go into a, like a storefront, which is huge and looks amazing. Yeah. Um, and then there's kind of a glass wall, which is huge. I don't know, fifty feet by a hundred feet yeah, or something the place stupid. Is enormous. And then they have a, a fully functional gym on the other side with all their toys. Right. And regular. You know, if you're just checking out the store, you can't go in the gym, but you can look through the glass right. and see awesome people working out. You know, like Rich Froning was there this weekend working out. Uh, a Matt bunch of Chan. WWE, yeah, a bunch of uh, top bunch level of strong man guys, WWE guys. WWE right. was in town. So Smelly and I walk in, and, and Cesaro's in there snatching. He's got our uh, slingshot knee sleeves on. It was amazing. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was uh, that was funny, and he was uh, he was fired up. 
you know, as always, he's always just super positive, but a strong guy, you know, he's, um, you know, the embodiment of a lot of the things that we try to promote and talk about here on the show is, uh, you know, if you have pain, try to fucking fix it. Um, try to keep yourself strong, try to keep yourself healthy, uh, try to realize that it's, uh, you know, this is not a sprint and try to just, you know, always try to stay out in front and on top of things. And that's what he's doing. I mean, he's, well, we saw him uh, doing clean and jerks. I, I, mean, I don't even know what weight he was using, but he yeah. was going fairly heavy. You know, he's handling some good weight, and uh, I would just. Uh, and then he had to wrestle the next night. The the amount of wrestling that I did without travel, I I, I admire what he's doing. It's it's unbelievable because wrestling is a weird uh, a weird thing. Maybe you know the only person here might have a, any sort of understanding of uh, what what it feels like. Might be a little smoky. Getting thrown around yeah. doing uh, what judo, right? Yeah, something. He yeah. did some shit. The uh, amount of uh, stress and stuff that it does to kind of like the front of your neck is mm. is is strange. And when your neck hurts, and I don't know if anybody's ever had a neck injury, but you can't lift. Yeah, yeah. If your neck hurts, you cannot. You, you can't bench press, deadlift, or squat. They're they're all they're all pretty much out of the question. Your strength is just shot. So the fact that those guys are able to uh, stay on top of stuff the way that they do is. Uh, that's pretty fucking awesome. You guys also shot some stuff with the new uh, the wagon wheels, the uh, Rogue ST yep. wagon. Yeah, wheels. yeah, they're for sale now at RogueFitness.com. Go check them out. I know people are are choking a little bit on the price, but like, yeah. nothing's gonna th- nothing's gonna destroy these things. They're well, gonna yeah. last. And know. I don't know how many people have bought in like uh, nice plates. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, yeah. what, I don't even know the price of the wagon wheels, but what I do know is that to buy a forty five pound bumper plate, it's typically two dollars per pound or yeah. more. Yeah, they're yeah. gonna be. They're going to be pricey. So and that's you about know, 200 um, bucks. 200 right. bucks so these for are just bumpers. Yeah. Right. These are 425. Yeah. So then so what? Yeah. You know, and the three, logistics, four bucks a pound, but it's, the, it is different. The logistics of Rogue Fitness uh, even making them, you know. Oh, yeah. Uh, for sure. They just assume probably not even to bother making them because they got to stop production on other shit just to get these things going. Um, but, uh, you know, I've had a good relationship with them for a long time. I've been after them forever to make this product and, uh, I'm excited that they make it. And now it's, you know, it's out there for people that are interested in it. Uh, it replaces or can replace a block pull. If you want to vary the height, people are asking me if they're going to make various heights. Yeah, what's the the height? About three and a half inches. Yeah. It's it's like a three and a half inch block pull. We think. Yeah. It's about a three inch difference. Um, but uh, if you want to vary the height at all, all we do is uh, we either stand on block or not stand on blocks, but stand on rubber mats, or we'll stuff some rubber mats underneath the. Uh, you know, so if you want to change the the height or the amount of range of motion that you have, right, you can do that very easily. Uh, it one of the huge benefits of it is the fact that uh, changing the weights out is so easy. So whether you're doing a block pull or you're pulling off a of mats or or whatever, uh, with the exception of maybe a rack pull. Um, you're able to uh, change out the plates very easily right. with somebody else. And, again, adjusting the height is as simple as uh, throwing a mat under your feet or simply rolling the plates up onto a mat. Yeah, we just broke way too many uh, plates here at Super Trail. Yeah, Jerks, we broke. Excuse me, not plates. Uh, uh, blocks. Yeah, yeah, yeah we destroyed blocks. Yeah, and then those so of you that pull sumo and like to get out pretty wide, uh, sometimes your feet will hit the uh, – We'll hit the blocks and, and things like that. This is, you know, it's just, this is just another tool. They look cool. Um, you know, people, people want to say, oh, it's kind of just a gimmick. Well, it is kind of just a gimmick. I mean, you know, let's show just, me something that's not. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's, um, it's not essential for you to get stronger and for yeah. you to grow. It's not, you know what I mean? So but if you want a really cool accessory, it's yeah. a really cool accessory and it has a lot of utility. You so. want to sharpen up your gym a little bit, make the videos look a little better, <laughs> have us repost and have you have more fans. Yeah. And there you go. Boom. <laughs> Boom. <gasps> ba- then, boom then what'd we do? That was Wednesday. What did you do? You did six fifty five for a dubby dub. Yeah, that was well, pretty goddamn good. Yeah, it was all right. Yeah, not not bad. I think I got three or four. I kind of misgrooved that second one all weird. Yeah, second one got a little roundy. Yeah, I got a little funky. Whatever. But uh, that was strong. Yeah, that's a PR. Yeah, that's a PR. We got we got some good footage out of it. We've uh, Mike and I have kind of basically just said that we're not lifting or. Uh, doing anything uh, exercise wise unless it's either video or photographed or we're funny <laughs> we're never going to be funny unless there's <laughs> i was pissed actually in the booth because i like danced on fucking piece of shit omar's video everyone like whipped out their phones like dance mike like fuck you <laughs> who the, the fuck are you 
Yeah, that's like, like that's like being a comedian. Yeah, like, oh, yeah. tell me the yeah. joke about the. Yeah, be I'll funny. do that sometimes for people. Sometimes comedian. they'll ask me like, "Hey, give a shout out to whatever." Yeah, I'll no, I did that sometimes. So, no, someone know. said, "Hey, my friend Joey has a powerlifting meet in a week. Can you wish him good luck?" I was like, "Yeah, of course." But I'm not gonna fucking dance for you in the middle <laughs> of an expo with no fucking good music. Yeah, at the same time, yeah, you don't want to be a fucking monkey. Yeah, that's what I know? said. I said, "I'm not your monkey." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Matt exactly. Vincent uh, suggested we put out tip jars. He's like. He said, like, people tip us for no reason. I was like, all right, we'll put out tip jars. I don't give a shit. You're well, talking about the fat owl? The fat owl. The fat owl himself. Oh, my God. World's biggest hipster. Yeah, there was actually a line for uh, uh, autographs and and pictures with Mark on Friday at the expo. That was nuts. Yeah, Friday was nuts, man. It we was sold out of everything. Craziness. Yeah, he, we sold out of stuff uh, pretty pretty goddamn quickly. So it was uh, overwhelming. If you had, if you took all the times that I was asked for an autograph and or and or a picture before Friday and multiplied that by five, mm-hmm. this weekend crushed that. Yeah, right. which is really weird for me because I'm, I mean, obviously I put myself here, but um, but for the most part I've been behind the scenes. So yeah, was, you know, yeah, it was nuts, man. Every really nuts. every uh, expo is growing crazier and crazier. Something that I read on social media yesterday that that you know I don't know exactly how to think about it, and it comes back to something you said about uh, Wendler earlier being on Instagram is that um, this person was talking about how people like like Furious Pete and um, Mike Rashid and Dana Lynn or whatever are are huge, you know, stars at these expos because they're well known in other media. And uh, this particular guy was talking about uh, how uh, Ed Corney, who was in... um, Mm-hmm. Pumping, and pumping iron. iron, yeah, it was sort legendary of legendary bodybuilder and bodybuilding coach, and uh, I think he lives in the Sacramento area still to this yeah. day. Was was sort of off off to the side by right. himself with no line at all. And I th- the the problem though is that it's like the guy's like this is this is wrong. Well, maybe it's wrong, but in reality, you have to keep up with whatever the most current way to stay popular is. Right. Yeah. Or you're you, not going to you be popular. Your, I was actually, your 15 minutes gets to be over. Yeah, who's the most know? popular like pop star right now? I don't even know. I'm like, yeah, I don't know. Nicki Minaj shit. or some shit. Yeah. Katy yeah, Perry. So I mean, yeah. you know, like if if Madonna was somewhere, and I know Madonna's like an exception to most rules because she's just so popular. But yeah. if she was somewhere, and then the next best thing or the next uh, you know new fucking hip hop kid or whatever uh, was at a booth, you know, people would probably want to be with whoever's more current. Yeah. Yeah. Right, especially, you know? uh, uh, that demographic. Yeah. That demographic does yeah. not know who he is. I was and, actually, and uh, he, cause he hasn't kept in the, in the, yeah. you know, in the spotlight at all. So uh, opposite of that, I was pleasantly surprised at how many people recognized Ed Cohn in our booth. Right. right, yeah, uh, right. Which, you know, Ed, Ed still does seminars and he writes books, but he's not necessarily a social media guru. You know, he's not out there. He doesn't have videos uh, recently. He obviously, his lifting is a little more limited he's now. he's got some videos. Yeah, lifted, but it's not, way, not lifting yeah, videos. It's way more limited. Q&A kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With yeah. Chris Duffin or whatever, but it's way more limited compared to what we do. Um, and I was pleasantly surprised at how many people uh, saw him like just chatting with us in the booth and asked for a picture. It's like, oh my god, that's a yeah, it's good, yeah. it's good. Yeah, yeah. Ed Ed Cohn, uh, you know, is uh, you know who who knows what have happened if he was around more around this time. Yeah, yeah. you know, lifting those big lifts that he's doing. Um, he's super he, charismatic. He's ridiculously yeah. strong. Uh, he, yeah. he, you know, and uh, very think, down to earth. I think yeah. the lifting uh, built all that for him, though. I don't think he used to be that way. I, I think he was uh just unbelievably shy you know yeah, and, yeah. And, and uh introverted a little bit i don't think i think was... we can all uh probably uh agree to that for oh, us yeah. also oh. to some extent oh yeah a hundred percent but I, I think he was even more so. yeah I, I will share the fact that like the first few times first few couple of years as a matter of fact that um you know i spent in the booth with slingshot I had a difficult time some of the time. I would like, you know, just be a little bit tired and not have a not have a, a patter or not have anything to say at all. Right. Uh, and just the experience of the podcast and getting getting a lot right. of positive response from people. Like, and I, I, it's not the first thing I think that right. that they're not going to be interested in what I have to say. Right. You know. Well, I've said this many times before. You know, there's uh, the people that do the best are typically people that have had a pat on the back. Yeah, they have some sort of reassurance that like what they're doing. Yeah, yeah, that's that's good. You know what you're doing is good. Get some sort of reassurance. Yeah. We all need it. Yeah, yeah my we, nemesis Boar texted yeah. me and said I did good on the video. There goes our beef. Yeah, see, yeah. I was trying to create some beef and he gave me a compliment. What was he doing? 
The son of a bitch, he fucking ruined ruined all the heat. I know. He was Boy's trying to been g- spreading the compliments around lately too. Oh, though. what so a bastard! So you know. <laughs> we were also uh, had to get the what top five sexiest men on the planet a slingshot. Oh yeah, I sent that out this morning. Yeah, top top twenty, I'd say. Really, I I honestly think that he's in the top five. Who? Google just top five sexiest men, and then we'll tell you guys who. Top five. <laughs> this is okay. <laughs> Google along at home. Yeah, if you will. Yeah, top five sexiest men, uh, maybe of 2014 or 2015. It doesn't matter. Hey, no. I bet you he's top five. He's jacked. Silent Mike, number one. What the? Right to the top. Here we go. Yeah, that People. that works. I don't care. People. Sexiest uh, men alive. Yeah, hopefully. He's an actor, but oh, Thor. Hey, Thor. What's Thor number one? Look at him flexing his tricep. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's the look I was going that's for. A, I was trying to flex a tricep on everybody. That's a bencher's tricep. Who's yeah. that? Chris that, Pratt. Uh, all right, we're so not we'll there yet. In. Keep going. Who is that? I I've never know. heard of him in my life. That's get out awesome. of here. He put himself in yeah, there. He, he was in Blake Shelton. I, uh, I like Blake. Oh, I'll get out of here. Bradley You're, Cooper. How could Bradley Matt Cooper Bomer. make that list? That's yeah. amazing. Oh, Strahan. my man, Michael Strahan. That's awesome. <laughs> that is awesome. He's jacked. He's got like a six pack going on and stuff. Eddie Redmayne. I don't know any of these people. Keep going. Scott we'll find Foley. them. Oh, no. Tim T-Bone. Tim T-Bone's ugly. There's no question about that. But that was it, I think. All right. All I right. can't even say the guy's name, so you can say it. I don't even know how to say his name. Uh, Joe Manganella? Is that who you're talking oh, about? Oh, yeah, yeah, Joe. Oh, fuck, yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. So he's We should have fl- gotten him a long time ago. Yeah, so he'll be uh, slanging. There were like we had a bunch of different roads to him. It was I, we I, have I have his email now. So. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know he's a he's a big fit. He wrote a book. Yeah. It came out like last year or something. Yeah. Like that. yeah. And he was in that terrible movie with Schwarzenegger. Oh my god, that I, was so. I awful. didn't see that. I don't think I've seen him in anything but Magic Mike. I've only seen that thirty times. You didn't That's see all. him in True Blood. Yeah, never seen True Blood. I've yeah. seen True like Blood's one episode. Great. Yeah, only one yeah, episode. I'm not into vampires. All right. Why not? That stuff's weird. It can be weird. I only like uh, Blade. I don't watch Blade. Oh really? Yeah. You don't like uh. What's his name? Wesley, Wesley Snipes. Snipes. Yeah, Wesley he's Snipes amazing. Is great. <laughs> God damn, Wesley Snipes. Uh, I I could have sworn Joe would have been top five. Ra- Ryan Reynolds in. Uh, I like Ryan Reynolds. Yeah, yeah he's jacked he, in there he's too. In, he's in the third uh, uh, Blade yeah. movie. Yeah, and he's my girl really Jessica Biel. Hmm. I wonder if she's related to me. She's, Biel, Bell. She's prego now. Could be. She's prego. Well, is she really? Son of a bitch. I think Justin Timberlake. There's your oh, man right there. Oh wow! Yeah, he's hubba hot. hubba. Yeah, hey now. <laughs> Hubba hubba. I looked the guy's up pretty big, though. I think he's like 6'4", six, 6'5". Six, yeah, he's to look, real tall. I had to look yeah. up his stats to size him, you know, because I didn't want to email him bugging him what size he was. <laughs> he's got a little stubble. 6'4", 229. 6'5", 240. You sent him a 2X? Is your dick yes, bigger than an blue. iPhone Plus? <laughs> no? Huh? Hey, I don't no. have an iPhone. Yeah, that guy's built like a freaking you're linebacker. Lucky. You're lucky. You're lucky. <laughs> <laughs> just always being judged all day long. Yeah, goddamn. What? Well, what? I would just go sideways across it. Oh, yeah. and hopefully. So then you're maybe yeah, hope. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully they came out with a seventeen thousand dollar watch. Did they? Who did? Yeah, Mac. Oh, did they? I yeah. Don't know. So you're gonna buy it? Uh, maybe. <laughs> what does it do? I don't know. It's, I don't it's, wear watches. It's the Apple Watch, but it's got that weird gold. So somebody what does it? wanted to make me a watch. I don't wear them. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it uh it um. It's just a phone on your wrist. What is it, James no, Bond? It's, Can it's it control a, my car? It's a smartwatch. It it interacts with your phone. Yeah. So then you Silent, need a phone. Silent Mike, <laughs> Chipotle. <laughs> yeah. Eleven o'clock. I'm only Where? buying that watch if I can drive my car with it. Like fucking. Does it do Pierce uh, Brosnan voice memos? <laughs> yeah, we, yeah. That's the last thing we need. Yeah. That's the last thing we need. need. <laughs> what is it? A I Power Ranger those. watch? I love those voice memos. I got to do one to the podcast itself. I'll do one. It'll just make no them. sense. It'll yeah. go on for 10 minutes. Let them know what's happening. Kill all our listeners. Aww. Killing them softly. Aww. What else did we do over the weekend? We the saw thing everybody. that's great in Ohio is everything comes with donuts. We were at like a, we knew like the shitty restaurants had donuts. And Burdick but- and I have been laughing about this for years because we went to uh, just a drive through to get a sandwich. And we each got a sandwich, and then uh, the person's like, oh, would you like a dozen donuts with that? <laughs> it was like a dollar or something. We're like, yeah, of course we do, or six donuts or something. And then 
It was like you no. know, another dollar for yeah. twelve. We were like, "This is so fat. Why are we getting twelve donuts? We're just trying to get some lunch." Smelly and I were uh, landed, a, I think, uh, maybe twelve hours or so earlier in gym, and yeah. about a day before everybody else, and checking into the hotel and getting dinner and everything. I guess uh, Ohio's more liberal than we thought. Everybody <laughs> thought we were dating. Um, that was weird. They almost everybody wouldn't let us saw through the facade. They wouldn't let us check into our hotel. We don't look. We don't look gay, right? <laughs> Podcasters out there, people listening that's uh, why we're on radio right guys right uh, we gay we were trying to get into the hotel and he really thought we were gay it's under andrea bell and i was like oh reservation under andy bell and he's like are one of you andrea i was like no <laughs> and he's like well i need to get on the phone with andrea I was like, well, he's married to her. <laughs> yeah. And the guy's like, oh, well, oh, okay. Oh, that's fine. Yeah. I was like, geez, Louise. That's and then at dinner, they weird. thought the same thing. She was judging us right away. God damn. But she brought us homemade donuts. Somebody should have been judging when you were taking naked pictures of Matt Vincent's ass. I did do that. Somebody should have been judging that. I did do that. I did not realize that he had a ta- tattoos all over his ass cheeks. Yeah, back of his neck down to his cankles. He has kind of a pancake butt. He no, it's a little better. I saw it in person. Hmm. There's the one compliment he'll ever get from me. Would his, you butt, e- his butt was all right. Would all you those, eat it? No. Oh. All those spandexy pants are squeezing his butt. Oh, now. yeah. His, you think it's minimizing? Kinda, it, it definitely wasn't as pancakey as Fat Dan. It's hugging it and bringing it up. Yeah, it's a little doing bit. okay. Lift it's, and separate. It's doing okay. Let's go through a list of people who visited us this weekend. Oh, back to the donuts, though. Oh, oh okay. Yeah. We didn't finish the donuts. <laughs> <laughs> we, uh, right. we ordered dinner, and, uh, and then we ate. And then we were like, "Oh, let's uh, let's get out of here." And the waitress came. Lauren, by. it's not yeah. just any. She's listening. I know yeah, it. Lauren, of course. of course. Why wouldn't she be? Uh, Little blonde Lauren from question. Columbus. And we were like, uh, "She's like, oh, will that be all." We're like, yeah, I'm gonna, we're, we're gonna get out of here and get some donuts. She's no, like, she's, oh, yeah. "Oh, we got some donuts." And she said, "You want a dessert menu?" We're like, "No, we're just gonna get donuts." And we we're just joking. And she's like, "We have donuts." I was like, "You don't have fucking donuts." She brought us three <laughs> homemade donuts. They oh were so God. good. Did she yeah. make them herself? I, I think I, probably. Yeah. I think so. Made with love we, from we Lauren. Had, we had donuts brought to us uh, well, every single day. Every single day. Th- this yeah. whole weekend was so ridiculous with the gifts. I can't even yeah. explain. Zach Evanish's tech guy brought us donuts. Yeah, one day. and then Captain Jack from Reebok One. Oh yeah, I didn't actually get to meet him. You probably did. It, oh. I didn't know it was him at first. He's huge. Yeah, I know he's really huge. I met a lot. Yeah, of people. he brought us donuts, and then everybody brought us monsters. I'm making, I'm probably making him sad right now. That I don't we went to uh, the BSN booth and had lots of ice cream. Uh, that, that was the was fucking highlight. Fucking spectacular. We went the uh, day before um, the show opened, and uh, Sean, I guess you would say it's like some sort of frozen yogurt, but it was like almond milk. Yeah, frozen yogurt mix, whatever and, that uh, is. Yeah, and synthesis. <laughs> and uh, Sean, I think it was the best part is I think it was just like one jug of synthesis. Yeah, who in this cares? Hundred and fifty <laughs> gallon thing. <laughs> so they're like, oh, how good's the synthesis yeah. taste? It's like, well, it's it delicious. Tastes great because it's ninety nine percent ice cream. I'll disagree a little bit just because the peanut butter did taste yeah, yeah. like peanut butter. No, synthesis yeah. tastes amazing. No, and the chocolate tastes like chocolate. So they had to get the flavoring somewhere. I think. Yeah. Either way, I ate like five cups of it. I was just sitting there uh, eating I, it all night. I had like four and a half. Dude, I would eat that every single day. Then I talked to uh, Leanna Carr's little friend there, and she was uh, we were talking about peanut butter. Yeah. And she's like, oh, artificial yeah. peanut butter is like greatest she, thing yeah, ever. Yeah, she said, let me tell you something about peanut butter. Like, oh, you're teaching us, huh? <laughs> What'd she say? She loved the uh, the peanut butter cups. The uh, Only the eggs. Yeah, the the, uh, the egg, yeah. Yeah, it's amazing. about that the time, Reese's, Smelly. All, all the specialty Reese's, the, yeah, the so holiday-related funny. one. But I think you're forgetting the best part Those of, so good. of the BSN frozen yogurt story was uh, Eric Hart's idea about how it should be dispensed. Oh, yeah. He's a genius. I don't know if we should read. He's a <laughs> sick bastard is what he is. <laughs> yeah, he said, he said there should be two butt cheeks up there, <laughs> <laughs> which would just be so funny. Yeah. I ate so much of that. I want some right now. Yeah, I would eat some right now. I'm starving right now. Where the, f- where the fuck is uh, Detroit? It's here. It's here. Our Chipotle's here. Okay. All I right. just can't eat and talk. Okay. The, uh, then why the fuck isn't he vacuuming in here? <laughs> God damn, it's a mess. Jesus Christ. Yeah, uh-oh. Something. <laughs> Do something. Do something. We need uh, that dispenser in here. We need that. I would yeah. love a frozen yogurt, protein well, frozen well, yogurt. I asked him for a fridge. He's going to send us a fridge. Yeah, I saw that. Is he really? Um, yeah. Excellent. And maybe he'll send us a Froyo machine. Well, uh, so we're going to throw it in. Fuck it. We have a plan. Actually, working on a plan to uh, trick out this studio that we're sitting in right now yeah. so it's as exciting and impressive as the gym itself so you got any ideas so for a us? bsn fridge is part of it yeah if you and also if you want to like sponsor something within this room uh also let us know about that yeah who the hell's listening you guys have to be useful for something no no it's just like the members of this gym 
They're all useless. Oh, only the you, people you we You guys know. are the only two people that are useful for the gym. Why is that? Oh. Out of all the years we've been open. Oh. That blows my well, A little smoky. Mind. No, he's yeah. pretty useless. I, I, well, he's part-time useful. He's part-time useful. Casey. Casey. Casey and the Sunshine helped. Band. Yeah, Casey yeah, helped a lot shoes. with uh, setting up the gym, but uh, everyone else, goddamn piece of shit. Well, Great. One piece of shit after another. <laughs> just walking right through our door. God damn. It's a giant toilet bowl that we should just flush and start over from scratch. Let's see what the fuck hell else happened at the booth. Oh, we didn't have a bench at the booth, which is uh, yeah, huge. Great. I mean, we we did that at the LA Fit Expo. We've done it at a few other places just because the events are smaller and we just felt like we didn't need one. But uh, it's really cool to have pushed a product out to a point where people know what it does. Yeah, and uh, a lot of people came up and they started to ask me what it does, and their friend was right there next to him. I was telling about to him. say, I think I talked to one. They're person. like, ah, oh, it helps you bench press, you idiot! <laughs> like it helps you overload. They're yeah. just all over them. I'm like, all right, cool. Uh, yeah, I, I think there was them. one person I talked to that had never seen it. Everybody right. else said like, hey, I seen it, but what does it really do? You know, everybody yeah, right. had some clue. For the most part, I think maybe I had four or five of those yeah. that didn't know anything about it at all. Yeah, it was amazing. There's not a ton of selling to do. You know, once somebody, you know, somebody hears about it, and then once they put it on, they get a feel for it. They're usually they're usually in. Well, it feels comfortable. A lot of people feel like they they just want to. Co- I think a lot of people want to come over and just buy something from us. You know, partly yeah, why due is to that? this. I, wonder, I think that's true because I don't see that many people buy like supplements. No, no, no one else is even selling anything at these shows, yeah. really. I mean, there's not a lot of companies. BSN yeah, some sells clothes. some stuff, and there's some other companies that sell some Apparently, stuff. Apparently, Gymshark sells a couple things. Yeah, yeah Gymshark oh people they buy a lot of stuff. They destroyed us with music yeah. Yeah. for three days. Yeah, that was pretty loud. Holy crap. But that was a good location where we were at. Yeah, I we were partying. Yeah. It I didn't like even being, matter. I liked being up against the wall. It was nice. Yeah. Having the, our backs to the wall and not having a bunch of other shit behind us was yeah. cool. It almost just doesn't even matter anymore. We just take over the whole damn thing. That was great. Mike Rashid came by. What's our uh, strongman buddy from the WWE? Oh, yeah, Barstow or whatever, yeah, right? he came by. Yeah, yeah, Mike Rashid came by and did a lot of filming, so check out his uh, YouTubes. Yeah. yeah. I'm sure he'll show our booth a little Bart bit. Quan. Oh, yeah, yeah Bart Quan was kicking it all yeah, weekend. Doing Furious a lot of filming, Pete's. too. Furious Pete. Here's my Furious Pete impersonation. This is, You're going to have to look at the at the video to see this. Uh-oh. So great. Yeah, his hair is going He's crazy. This is, this is also my Kelly Sturette impersonation. Yeah. So. Yeah. There Kelly. You go. Um, yeah, Barkholm was kicking it. Yeah, Mike Rashid. Uh, I think Matt Vincent has some video footage. He had a GoPro set up up in the corner. Yeah, oh, he yeah. did. I don't have any idea what happened yeah. with that. He told me he'll send us some of the footage. You guys he filmed a happening. couple girls' buttholes while they were using the slingshot. Yeah, that was a little weird of him. Mm-hmm. He got weird. up in there. Yeah. It's Actually, important. somewhere on my channel is a, uh, a video that I shot a couple of years ago with a GoPro in the in the booth. It's like time a, lapse. Time lapse. It's it's amazing. It'd uh, be great to do that one compared to now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. True. It, it was a crazy day that day, and this we're just I don't know killing it now, or so. Yeah, it was uh, each each day was awesome, and then Sunday was a little bit more low key just because uh, we pretty much sold out everything. But I think Sunday's always a little slow, and yeah, it's we always a little it's always a little slower. Uh, Mike and I got to meet uh, C.T. Fletcher. Uh, I've spoke to him before, but got a little bit longer uh, chat with him, and uh, we'll be doing something with him coming up. I might go to his gym uh, on the opening, or I might do something before something before that. But uh, video and podcast and, will be happening. His yeah, Iron maybe, Attics gym. Yeah, maybe go down there and podcast with him or yeah. some shit like that. So look for that coming up. Um, we have uh, Chris Duffin. On his way out here uh, to do some squats. Yes. You guys know about squats? I know squats. about squats. You guys know about Chris Duffin? Let me tell you. Yeah. S-K-A-A-W-T-S. Squats. I actually listened so to oh, him. Oh, he spelled it backwards, I think. Listen to him on another podcast the other day. I mean, I've met Chris before yeah. and I know him, but um, it was very interesting to talk to him or to hear him talk about right. his background and um, all the stuff he's been through, raised by hippies and, you know. Yeah. It's nuts. nuts. He's yeah. a very self-possessed guy. He he made himself into who he is, and he's much more successful outside of the lifting world than he is in, in the lifting world, and yeah. he's a huge success in the lifting world. So Yeah, he barely has enough time for the lifting. Yeah. You know, yeah. he really does. I mean, you know, uh, he's been a little bit more competitive uh, uh, as of late, but he's, he's run into a lot of injuries. Uh, and I think the injuries are are due to the fact that he's like running all over the place all yeah, the time. Yeah, I don't think he gets any the the rest recovery that he needs. He doesn't get all the sleep he needs. He he gets sick fairly often, and I think it's just because his mind is in many yeah. different spots at one time. Him on that when he's in here, trying to manage. Yeah, trying to manage everything at at the same time. But uh, we we'll also have Adrian Larson 
coming yeah. in here. Uh, former world record holder of the 220 raw bench, if you don't know who he is. We're going to have uh, Bart Quan and Geo at some point from yeah, Barbell we Brigade. Whole, we got a whole list of people that uh, – that are coming in. Uh, Furious Pete, perhaps. Furious um, Pete will be here eventually. DLB. We'll be doing something with her. We don't yeah. know what, but it'll be happening. Yeah, we don't know what, and they don't know what. But it'll but happen. Something but it'll will be happen something. At but, some time. But it maybe, will maybe, happen. Maybe you'll be like part of Rob's band or something next year. I would love to do a rap. I wonder if he'd let me on that thing. I don't know. So I'll write a rap. He'd probably be like, just relax, buddy. <laughs> I'll write a rap. Rob, let me on your rap album. <laughs> Does he rap? It's like, kind of like, it's like uh, yeah, rap. Anthraxy. Yeah. yeah. Anthrax are old. Yeah, but, I'm young. Yeah. Well, people should a know that. A little bit of rap and a little bit of rock. Yeah, yeah, it's like that. Dana Lynn was on the cover of Power DLB, Magazine that DLB. we gave out at the uh, at the Arnold. A lot of people, a lot of people were like, oh my God, where is she? Yeah. We'll have uh, Mr. Tate Fletcher of Cape Only Coffee himself. Only a few himself. fat powerlifters. The, the, the only few fat, fat power lifts had negative comments about her being on the cover. Oh, really? I've never, I didn't other hear that, one. Other than that, everybody was. Yeah, thinking. I didn't hear one. Well, that goes back to the point that I was making before. Like, you know, it, popularity right. is a thing. Oh, it, yeah. It's a no, thing. It's important. I mean, you, we can make people somewhat more popular by, by talking about them if yeah. they're not well known. But I in gotta, reality, it, they got to be they got to be on it themselves. And these are people who are on it. I had a few people at the show come up to me and, and tell me. You know about their their lifting stats or their buddies' lifting stats. I also get emails like that all the time. Mike sees them come in, um, and you know, one of the major things they leave out is like, "What the fuck can I do for me?" Right. You know, and that's, uh, that's everybody true wants for, a sponsorship. Yeah. Everybody, and also, uh, I don't think they know what they actually want. You know, right. um, and that's important going into a sponsorship and. Uh, you have to realize that uh, even the guys at the top don't get paid a lot. So, uh, and some of them don't get paid hardly at all. Right? Uh, do you so want you, product? Do you want money? Do you want exposure? You want a combination of those yeah. things. You know, um, what I can provide for people is, in my opinion, above and beyond what any other company can provide in terms of uh, being able to help them uh, with their own popularity. Uh, your own popularity will help you grow and help you uh, to be able to get into. Uh, other companies, right. you know, and so help you with your actual lifting. Yeah, I mean, you know, look at, uh, uh, you know, look at Leanna Carr and some of these other people that we've associated ourselves with. Their their the amount of views and the amount of uh, followers and shit they have is is growing all the time. Right, and then they can go to a you know someone that they feels would be a good sponsor for them, and they can say, hey, I got you know fifty thousand followers. I got this. I got that. Mm -hmm. And they're able to actually have something. But uh, going up and telling someone about your 405 deadlift or even six or seven or 800 pound deadlift no. is not enough. Sadly, a 700 no. pound deadlift is a dime a dozen now. Yeah. And you have to understand, we don't make the decisions about who's popular. Right. Like the, the community, the world makes those Damn. decisions. And, you know, uh, people can't get mad at us for. for Look at uh, Kim Valentine. You know, she you know, she's built up her uh, Instagram and uh, it, as silly as it all sounds, I realize how silly it all sounds because it should be about lifting. Yeah. yeah. And, and I'm a fucking meathead. And I, well, and luckily, I agree. Luckily with Kim, it is about lifting also. Yeah. 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 She yeah. She can. She performs at a high level and has multiple uh, world records. Yeah. Uh, but she's built up her Instagram and now she's uh, got Mike Rashid sponsoring her with uh, supplements and his clothing line and then Eight Man Strong, I believe, right. also. And obviously Slingshot. Right. And so she's growing and expanding. <laughs> And over the course of time, over a period of time, she should be able to turn that into something. Whether she does or not, you know, who knows? But she should be able to uh, continue an upward path and be able to turn it into at least a little something. It's something I was talking about the other day on that um, Brute Strength um, podcast. It's something I've been thinking about it, that that uh, you you guys probably don't remember the um, you know the the first big dot com bubble. Mm -hmm. Um, but there was a lot of a lot of value that people were uh, ascribing to certain companies and right. certain ideas and all that stuff, and like there didn't seem to be a whole lot supporting it. And some of the social media fame is exactly the same way. Right. And I think that the fallout that we're eventually going to see, and the people who are going to survive it, are the people who are the most authentic. Right. Not necessarily the best lifters or the best this or the best that or whatever, but the most authentically themselves right. as portrayed through their social media Someone's in ways that people connect to some substance. Yeah, yeah. And people connecting to them, and that's what Omar mentioned on the on our podcast. Is people have to be able to you have to be like relatable, right? You know, people have to be able to connect with you. Uh, what's Omar's best deadlift? Five sixty five, five eighty five, five eighty five. I think. Yeah. 
I mean, you know, first of all, in my opinion, I think it's a great deadlift. Some power lifters that are, you know, deadlifting 800 or 850, they might think that ain't shit. But uh, in my opinion, it's good because I know that there's at least some work required for right. for several years to really uh, be able to deadlift right, that amount. To get you know? there. Um, and the fact that he's uh, appears to be drug free, I never want to just say somebody is drug free right off the bat, but uh, he appears to be. He's 185, 190 pounds, you know. Um, you have people, you know, getting in the realm of uh, doing triple body weight on anything is is pretty goddamn, uh, pretty goddamn impressive. But if right. that's all he did, no one would know who he is. I mean, uh, what's the guy's name? Dominic, uh, the guy that uh, we posted about Pizzuti doing, or something, doing the uh, five hundred pound. Uh, he did the five hundred pound in the reactive slingshot. Yeah, which thing. is fine. But he did six eighty five and just uh, slingshot knee sleeve squat. Wow. In my opinion, <laughs> one eighty one. I mean, uh, you know, he weighs uh, one eighty five. Jesus. In my opinion, you know, minus uh, a few of the really, really, really high level uh, squatters out there, this guy is is right up there with the fucking best. He's of next him. level. He, Seven hundred pounds, basically. He he's uh, that's, that's, he's unbelievable. He's sitting in the in the bottom of the squat, four or five inches below parallel. That perfect form. Six hundred eighty five pounds. Well, um, and the fact that he can bench. We talk about and with all no the, spotter. He yeah, posted yeah, up he the thing said no now. fear, you know, and he's just sitting in the bottom yeah. of the lift. Good lord. Talk about people. Uh, no belt. A lot of times. Yeah, yeah. He, I think know? he did five uh, five eighty five. No belt. No, I think he still squats even a lot more than yeah. that. Yeah, he's a freak. Yeah, he's a he's a monster. But anyway, I mean, he's got a, just a few thousand followers. He's just you know starting to get the ball rolling. But uh-huh. uh, maybe you can mention his name, Mike. Maybe we yeah, can I'll, find his. I'll hunt down his uh, Instagram. His uh, Instagram. Kind of give him <laughs> give him give him a little bit of goddamn help. But uh, the point is, if that's all you do, uh, that's probably not enough. And no. same thing with like a hot chick. Like there's so many hot chicks on Instagram. Unless you're willing to reveal a lot, <laughs> then, yeah, yeah, then it's going to be hard to. That's really how I gain. got all mine. Yeah. <laughs> the the glute shots. I killed that glute shot photo though. Can we yeah. just agree here that I beat everybody in that picture? I will try to drop that in here. Yeah. Who, who has that picture, Matt? Or uh, all you? of us. Smelly has it on his okay. Instagram. Yeah, yeah. So. yeah, Smelly took it. Somebody I won that. Yeah. Yeah, Smell somebody it. get me the original. I'll throw it on this yeah. video. I had to retake it because Leanna Carr was upset. Yeah, I killed her. She didn't get enough. I gear. literally eclipsed her. Yeah, she's not experienced. And she's a pro. She's not experienced. And enough she's to a be pro involved. glute spreader. She's not experienced enough to be. This involved. guy is uh, Damien Pizzuti. Damien P E double Z U T I. Damien Pizzuti. Check him out. Strong as shit, man. Good job at Pizzuti. <laughs> 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 Almost sounds like Pazuki. He's my I new know, favorite. I God, know. I'll take two, please. Cookie with ice cream. Oh my God, he's, he's that good. Can we just call him that? Is that going to be his nickname? Yeah, Pazuki. Pazuki. Damien Pazuki. Yeah, yeah. Just change it now. You'll be yeah, more famous. Exactly. We'll just go with that. Yeah, take us exactly. later. Anyway, Chad Wesley Smith is another guy that we uh, plan to have up here. He'll do uh, some podcasting. Have him hit up some squats. Yeah, he and Brandon only have a podcast together. I think. I th- believe so. Yeah. Uh, Chad Wesley Smith is the owner of the largest and fattest kneecaps I have ever seen in <laughs> yeah, my life. Yeah, they're they're not from this century. No, I I from this. I epoch. have a plan to put his uh, kneecaps on a diet. <laughs> His I don't think caps, you can. No, I think they're going to go into ketosis. I don't, I don't think, think you can, can only hope to contain them. Is what I think. His, uh, he got sent home from school uh, one time. He was playing basketball, and the uh, gym teacher sent him home and said, you know, whatever his mother's name is, he said, you know, your son, you know, his, his legs are... Uh, Mrs. You know, Smith. Yeah, Mrs. Smith, your son's, your son's legs are, uh, you know, very swollen. I don't know if he hurt his knees or... She's like... Mm, no, no, they actually look like that all the time. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> Thought he ripped his ACL yeah. or something. Yeah, 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 yeah. His kneecaps are just That's gigantic. great. Poor guy. That's rough. Anyway. Fat kneecaps. What are you gonna do? Helps him squat a lot. Uh, what the little bridge family were in the was in the um, in the house. The they were. I said, "What's up?" On Sunday, they were. Yeah, they. A they bunch of guys were. Yeah. They always have a whole uh, whole team with them, whole crew with them. Yeah, Pete Rubish came and said, what's yeah, up? Yeah, yeah. Uh, we'll get T- him out here. T. T Cummings come and said, what's up? Yeah, I get a lot of requests for, for Pete. Yeah, we'll get Pete on here. Yeah, yeah, we'll do some Pete and his him. gigantic neck. And yeah, Pete's jacked, man. Yeah, just, like, I knew, like, he had a big back and whatever, but, like, his arms look kind of big. Like, he was looking yeah, jacked. Yeah, yeah, He's strong. Yeah. I mean, he's uh, strong yeah. as shit, you know. He, yeah, uh, he's hot. Oh, he's hot. Uh, yeah. Not as I gotta say, T is hotter. Yeah, T's hot too. T, is T way Cummins, hot. what a great porn name. Yeah. He's got that nose. Yeah, that's bullshit. He's got that nose. That's a bullshit name, T. That, we yeah. know you're lying. That I think his name's Terrence. Nose. I think it's yeah, Terrence think Cummings. Right. That nose will just tickle your tickle your balls just the right exactly. way. You know? Exactly. Exactly. No, I, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? No. Huh? No. 
No, know what I'm saying. Like it's a not you know, mean. Not, yeah, <laughs> no, you don't have to mean. answer. No, not I mean. think you answering is even worse. Yeah, it probably is. Yeah, makes you full suspect. denial. What the fuck else we got going on? Oh, man, we're just partying. That's about it. We got some bench pressing to do we today. We don't party. We eat fucking Quest bars and go to bed. Yeah. yeah you, our, our party yeah. is like a little bit of pizza and watching a UFC our fight. Our friend Omar said he can't eat another Quest bar. Why? What happened? He said it gives him back. It gives him uh, memories of being at my house. Oh, he's yeah. sad. That's so <laughs> yeah. sad. Yeah. yeah, he said he can't do it. Can't. Uh, hey, he just even looking at one, he just gets sad. He's, he's just up there crying. Poor Omar. He's got to move to the States. Yeah, he's going to have to immigrate. Yeah, I told him to move his mom to Davis. Omar Bell. You'll have to marry me. <laughs> Does he still live here? Yeah. Yeah. Can we marry him off to somebody in the gym? Is that yeah, sure. Would that solve the problem? Yeah, we'll find I have somebody. No, I have no idea if we need any any more in the United States of whatever it is that Omar does. Yeah. Yeah. And that's how you have to, you know, get your green card, just be in demand, right? Yeah. So. He's in demand. Something. Yeah, we got some bench pressing today. Something else. In There's front of cameras. Else going on. Yeah, we got some bench pressing going on. We got something else, no? San Jose Fit Expo, but that's like six weeks. Yeah, that's coming up. We got a bunch of clothes coming out. Six weeks? Uh, maybe it's t- eight weeks. That. Maybe eight weeks. Yeah, we're going to slang out some clothes. Out. Got some protein powder coming up. There's more products always in the works. More shit coming your way. More lifting coming. Jesse tea. Bird Inks holding a meet. Tea coming. In about two weeks. Actually, maybe two meets. My understanding is that- I heard uh, June. June, yeah. And, and, and if it's not conflicting with what we do, I'm there. I'll compete. What do we do? Head to head, nothing really. Yeah, nothing oh, at all. yeah. But Mine, like the San Jose Fit Expo is near there. I don't know if I can get eight weeks where I can fucking train my face off. I'll go do June. My understanding is that uh, Travis Mash is trying to come back to powerlifting. Travis and, Mash, and he's um, talking about doing that meet. That would be, be cool. cool. Also, be great. Chris Moore bar- of Barbell Shrugged is talking about doing that oh, meet as well. That'd be great. I'll his, do it with him then. His first meet in forever. We'll do uh, footage back and forth. Yeah, cool. They're, they're Powercast talking. versus Barbell Shrugged. Head to hey head now. That'd be cool. Uh, April 17th, Jim, is uh, the Tribeca. Tribeca? Tribeca. Movie okay. Festival. April oh. 17th is like the main screening, I guess. Okay. For Boar's new movie. Are we invited? So, yes. Okay. Well, I, I believe I, so. I mean, you want to double check with him, but I, th- I think he made it seem like, hey. He did know. make it seem like that. Well, I can coordinate a trip to uh, to D.C. with that. That would be awesome. That there is my plan. Go. My plan is to go to New York for the first time in my life. And then find my way up to Boston. It's a, uh, it's a great... Oh, you're going to Reebok? Uh, I think I'm going to try to... Uh, if you can get an invite? No, I'm just going to show up. Okay. I'll That's text JD. I'll That's text my people. Um, I think uh, what you said, you're going to New York maybe two or three days, kind of in and out, and then I'll go to Boston for two or three days, and then I'll head back down here, and then I think someone's visiting us. I don't know what, but... Uh, we, uh, we probably should check that. No, I have my schedule. Oh, yeah. Matt we, Wedding is coming, too, at some point. Oh, man. Matt Wedding. It's a fucking block. I'm, we're gonna, I'm gonna bench and flip flops when he's here. Oh my oh yeah. That'll be so funny. That'd be a good idea. Yeah, that's the plan. I'm stoked on Tribeca. That's the big one. That'll be so fun. I've never been to New York, never been to a film festival. We were talking about You're gonna Wolfie eat uh, New York up. Yeah, I'm gonna eat so it. much pizza, it's gonna be love great. It. We were talking about uh Wolfie earlier, Joe Manganella, <laughs> yeah. whatever Manganella, yeah. however you say his name. Uh he saw the screening of uh the Jake the Snake movie that they, my brother uh, Yeah, that's where they met. My brother worked on in uh he loved the movie, um, and uh, he's a big wrestling fan. Yeah, yeah, he's seen bigger, From way, stronger. way well, back. Well, listen to this: he's seen bigger, stronger, faster, right? So I told my brother, and he's a huge fan of it. So I told my brother, I said, "You know what that means?" And he said, "What?" I said, "That means he knew me before I knew him." Oh, oh yeah, fuck. that's probably true. Who are you, Holy yeah. shit. Yeah. Holy shit. That's, wowie, wowie. That's right up Maui's there. Wowie, wowie. <laughs> that's right up there with predicting the Super Bowl. Yeah. Oh yeah. So what's going on in the NFL? Everybody's moved. Oh, I know. They're Seahawks. The Niners aren't going to make the playoffs. Seahawks. The Seahawks are probably going to win the Super Bowl. The Niners are fielding a college team. I don't know. Team. I got a, what, like the Seahawks Hawks and the Colts? Uh, Seahawks, Broncos. Not the Colts? Peyton Manning's last year. No, no, the Colts. No, nah, he's going to pull it together. They got Frank Gore and Andre Johnson. I don't care. Andrew freaking Luck? I don't know. Andrew freaking Luck. Luck, and he's got a horseshoe on the side of his helmet? Give me a break. Yeah. How can you bet against Stars him? Stars aligned. Son of a bitch. Stars guy. aligned. He is good. Mm. I love Andrew Luck. Andrew Luck looks like Michael Phelps, and he talks like Michael Phelps. And they kind of all look like Tim Tebow also a little yeah, bit. Yeah, <laughs> they got the long horse face, and they talk like they're underwater They talk somehow. like they're so stupid. Well, but Michael Phelps talking like he's underwater makes sense. Yeah, yeah. but Andrew Luck's so- He might literally be talking from underwater. Under, hi, into a hydrophone. Andrew Luck's so smart, but he looks so stupid. 
Yeah, yeah. And he's fast. Like, mouth is like always yeah. open. He's a, a fucking <laughs> mouth breather. <laughs> Mouth breather, <laughs> son of a bitch. Poor He's Andrew. huge, though. You ever saw that picture of him and Kelly? Yeah, and he moves like a fucking horse. Kelly's He's like run. six two or something. Yeah, and he just towers. He's over. six four two sixty. Yeah, faster than anyone. Kind of like the mountain towered over you, over Thor. Yeah, yeah. That, that, that's a picture we'll throw in here too. That's that just nuts. he could have anally raped me. Yeah, that would have been awesome. What other rape is there? Yeah, for me, I guess <laughs> yeah, maybe yeah, I, I, orally. I I, I, I shoved it in my I, face. I, I sock it. I don't know. Yeah. No ear? nose rape. Uh, ear Who rape? knows what he'd make up? Yeah, uh, you'd be kind of famous. He that made way. someone's fucking whole entire cranium explode. Yeah, somewhere. that's yeah. scary. Yeah, exactly. I don't know why I'm coming back to this, but um, Tate, Tate Mr. Fletcher. Fletcher, yeah, Caveman we, Coffee. Shout trying to, out. Trying to get him up here, right? But yeah, he'll be. Uh, yeah, yeah, we'll the work co- him. Out. Conversation I had with him at at dinner um, the other night was spectacular it's such a positive guy oh my god and i think that the lesson as we as we've gone forward over the years that we've spent together the thing that we've learned the most is that you want to associate yourself with positive people and you want to disassociate yourself from people who are not positive who can't get positive who only not you know, positive for like hiv or anything just like positive people right, right. energy They're positively negative yeah positively yeah. negative yes, <laughs> energies exactly. we're talking about yeah positive energy people Uh-oh. who who have positive yeah. things to say and and who don't build themselves up by running every, everybody else down. Right. That's a, a big thing. Your Jets are going to have a defense, man. Defense. I know. No, yeah. you don't know. Oh, they're going to be This great. is late-breaking news. What happened? Uh, they always have defense. Antonio Cromarty. Oh, really? Ooh. And Darrell Revis. Both. Ah, wow. That's lockdown CBs. They're like, what, mm. 30? They're old, uh, but they're not really old. Yeah, old-ish. They'll be locked old, down, not man. So old. They'll Revis be locked is down. so good when he's healthy. Yeah, and I think uh, uh, Antonio Cromartie's still a stud. Yeah, he was true. playing safety or something, or went my way off. They just move those old backs to safety. Who cares? He'll be still mm. be good. There's the news. Uh, let's uh, finish up with the last uh, last couple things here. Um, Silent Mike, you follow any sort of diet stuff? Do you track your shit when we're on the road? You're just fucking popping donuts. You don't care. Um, normally when we're traveling, I'll pop donuts. But uh, did you gain weight or lose weight? On I the lost trip? weight. I lost weight. So because of our scheduling, we typically eat a lot less. And so I'm aware that uh, we eat less often than I normally do. So I'll hammer whatever I can. Yeah. Um, but then I also make smart choices at dinner. I'll choose like a lean-ish cut of steak, steak compared. Um, I'll try not to go nuts on our lobster mac mm-hmm. and cheese or whatever we had. I don't necessarily track it, track it, because that would be too hard. But in my head, I'm trying to take account like, hey, I haven't had carbs all day. Let's get rice with dinner. Well, you've seen so many different combinations, so you know yeah. approximately, like, this is 350 right. calories-ish. Yeah. Sometimes I, uh, my breakfast is small. You know, yeah. it's coffee and a Quest bar, so lunch, you know, typically our lunches aren't bad. We had, like, chicken Saving sandwiches. Saving up points, Weight Watchers yeah. style. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. And then dinner's all out because we were going nuts. But I, I lost about three pounds. I almost always eat fish at dinner just because it's, and also fish that doesn't have, like, a like a thick sauce on it, yeah. you know, that's more more of a, a, yeah. s- a fish that might be like in a broth or something just because it's usually fairly lean. And then you save know? yourself some dessert because you're kind of on vacation. Yeah, I, I'll always get dessert pretty much uh, every night. When yeah. I'm, uh, you, know. you had an amazing piece of, of meat. Yeah, well, oh, oh, yes, I did. Ah. Yeah. Hey, now. Oh, yeah, that was good. That I, steakhouse I the was name, amazing. Uh, Har Har. That's the name of your cow. That was the name of my cow. Yeah, yeah. So sad. I have his nose print and everything. Yeah, the, it's in my back. It's in my bag. I need to get the, the so wagyu. Uh, yeah, that shit was good. It, it was, was really amazing. It, was it came with a certificate with a nose print of the of the cow. That's so I've never seen like that. I had the Australian hybrid one. It was yeah, I think that's delicious. what I had too. Yeah, you had like it one New York night. Steak I had it the Delicious. Yeah, we were we ended up at Hyde Park two nights in a row. Yeah, um, yeah, that place was really good. Yeah, the. Um, Ah, the apple pie that I ordered at that place, speaking of eating dessert, I thought it was going to be a slice of apple pie. It was a freaking like, personal pan pizza-sized yeah, apple pie. Like Cheesecake Factory, yeah, they oh give you the biggest thing God, ever. I love that. You guys are making me so hungry. I'm not saying right I now. didn't eat it, but you know, we basically were not eating breakfast. We are not getting much, getting a, a bar or whatever, and then lunch was whatever somebody ran to get us, a wrap or a, a chicken right. sandwich or a burger or whatever, and then dinner was kind of Yeah, like I skipped my fries out. at lunch. I just poured them on a Matt Vincent's plate. I um, I think I think Mike, <laughs> you're you're similar with your food. You don't uh, you don't have your food all like cooked and prepared ahead yeah, of time, never, right? Never, never. I, I I don't have the. Uh, I'm not against it. Like if you can food prep and you're. No, I think it's it. the way. I think it's the way to go. Yeah, I just uh, can't ment- maximum. Uh, you know, total maximum result. If yeah, you I can't be, mentally do it. If you want to be shredded up for like a photo shoot yeah. or something, I think you. 
you almost have to get in that mode because you uh, can't afford to have some weird shit that has a yeah. bunch of butter on it. And yeah, stuff like I'll uh, I'll at a restaurant cook extra large dinners and then eat right. that for lunch the next day. That's about as far as my preparing goes. So if I'm having a chicken rice and broccoli, yeah, that's I'll, pretty I'll common cook, at our house. Yeah, I'll too. cook like three chicken breasts. And then I have sometimes that. order more stuff too. If I'm at a yeah. restaurant and something's healthy, I'll just order two or three of the same yeah, yeah, or something it similar. It sucks that there's, it. you know, uh, I hear in like New York, I think we probably talked about this on uh, the podcast already, but like Florida and Vegas, they have like, you know, like meathead or like bodybuilder restaurants, you know, like Muscle Grill or right. something it's called. Yeah. Like, and that's still not in California, maybe in LA, yeah. but not around us, you know, California is supposed to be Mr. Healthy. You know, like we eat Chipotle, and if you order it correctly, you can do right. okay with it. But it's not really made for that. Yeah. Right? Like, why can't I just go get some delicious chicken and rice somewhere? Yeah, where the gym is located right now kind of sucks for food. But this area will grow, and hopefully we'll, yeah. we'll end like up a, with something. I eat a lot of, like, chicken teriyaki places. I eat yeah. out a lot. Yeah, I do the same. I'll hit up uh, Quest Bars, Protein Powder, shit yeah, like that, between. just out of convenience. Uh, occasionally hit up some... Uh, some fucking weird Icelandic yogurt that I <laughs> that I eat that has like hardly any carbs and uh, if it worked for Thor has a good amount of uh, yeah has a good amount. You didn't of have any fermented it. shark though, right? <laughs> yeah, that right. was part of our discussion. Yeah, with that's, Benedict Magnuson, that, that sounded thing. pretty pretty gross. But I guess my point is, uh, there's many ways to do it, and yeah. unless you're going to step on a bodybuilding stage, you don't need to be uh, so obsessed with it. Um, you probably don't need to carry around a six pack bag with you all day yeah, long. Yeah, I was surprised how many of those I saw in the but, uh, airport. You know, but if yeah. you're away from home for a long time and you, you know, we saw Stan, you know, Stan uh, stays at a, um, when he stayed here uh, at Super Training and lifted like a motherfucker and inspired us all as he always does. Uh, he, um, you know, he had some prepared food with him. Right. But it looked like he most of the time he just had, like, one meal with him. Yeah. Uh, but he stays in a hotel that allows him to cook. It's got a kitchen and stuff like that. Yeah. So Extended stay or one he, of those. Yeah. Uh, he's on another level, you know, in terms yeah. of uh, his dedication to a lot of this stuff. And, uh, you know, he, he likes the results he gets, and so he continues to. He's uh, turned it into an unbreakable habit. Yeah. He, he continues to kind of go down that path. Um, for most of the rest of us, we don't. You know, like I, I kind, I sort of know what it what it means to get uh, at least towards some of the things mm-hmm. that he's done, uh, and uh, they're not always desirable to me to go that deep into it. Right. As I mentioned with him, I was like, "You look like you're ready for the bodybuilding stage," and he's like, "No, no, 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 no," because he knows, you know, even though it'll take you know two or three percent more effort from him, uh, that amount of effort he's not willing to to bother with. Yeah, that's like, so that. You know? So often when you see a picture on Instagram or Facebook or whatever, and somebody's somebody he's gotten into pretty good shape, it's like, yeah. oh, you think about doing a show? I was like, no, no, yeah, no, yeah. no. that's it's not right. even close. And yeah. I've always kind of said it too, out of respect for bodybuilding, like I would be awful, you know, I would right. suck at it, and right. I, it, you know, for me to even ha- try to have the discipline to even try to step on the stage, I just wouldn't even, uh, I, I wouldn't want to do that. And yeah. if I did do that, I'd end up so light on stage. I mean, you kind of said you'd be 160 pounds, 170 yeah. pounds if you were to try to get, get, on, yeah. get on stage, you know. Probably. So it's uh, one day. Anyway, I guess just the point is, is, uh, you know, just just try to uh, try to pay attention to what you're eating and uh, whether you're traveling or not traveling. Yeah. So that way you don't slap on a bunch of uh, unwanted lbs but, yeah you can uh, gain like 10 pounds of fat you know people always say like oh it's just bloat like no motherfucker like yeah. you ate so many calories over six days right. like yeah. that's fat <laughs> and i know like a protein bar or something like that might not be uh the most uh efficient thing in the world but or even or even like a rice crispy treat or just something yeah, yeah. that uh is low in calorie that uh, you know keeps keeps your energy levels up keeps you from getting starving yeah. uh those things can help you uh just you know, stay on a stay on some sort of path. I'm gonna go uh, get a rice krispie treat right now. To not uh, overeat and to get more fatterist. I started off this trip on kind of a rough note. I um I, I got to the airport you know relatively early here in Sac, and I went to the Dos Coyotes um, um outlet there. I love there. Dos Coyote. <laughs> we had that ordered, for lunch yesterday. I ordered the burrito that I don't normally order, and it was enormous. Mm. It was like a foot long. Jesus. And I thought, well, I'm not not sure when I'm gonna get to eat again, so I'll just plow through this yeah why not i didn't eat again for over 20 hours yeah i was not hungry nor was i actually capable of getting to food because of the travel and stuff and you know getting into columbus after midnight and right you know i don't want to i don't want to order from room service unless i'm desperate so 
It just, you know, it, when you're traveling, try to carry around something with you, a protein bar or something, you know, have a, or at least yeah. just realize you're going to need to have access to something at some yeah, point. Yeah, I should have taken some for the plane instead of just counting on picking up some when we got to right. the, the expo. We were right next to another, uh, to a booth that had then the protein bars. Us. Then you end up eating weird shit. You don't feel good. Right. You know, you end up eating the chips they have on the plane and or you whatever. start shitting yourself. Yeah. yeah. And it's just food you're not used to and you start shitting yourself or not shitting at all when you travel oh, sometimes. Both are so bad. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, inconvenient. All right, well, I guess that's it. I have a today. sign off now. I picked it up from Matt Vincent. Oh yeah, yeah. He said bye to somebody at the booth. Uh, they bought something, and, and instead of saying like thanks, you know, he said stay healthy. There Ooh. you go. Stay healthy. Stay healthy, kids. Uh, multiply your hustle. Multiply your muscle. And that's it from me, bitch. You can find me at Silent and all Mike. your shits be tapered. You can find me at Silent Mike with two Ks. Stay healthy. Mark, as you probably know, is at Mark Smelly Bell on Instagram and Twitter. I am Jim McD, STTV, everywhere that I would want you to find me. And as I have pointed out before, is as if you follow me on Instagram, as long as you are not number one private and number two, have at least one hey, picture. suck it, Jillian Michaels. I will follow you back. Oh, yeah. Hey, we, <laughs> we beat Jillian one day. This, this Actually, two days. We were, what, last top week. 10 in health, right? Top yeah. 10 in health. Yeah. Health. Num- Period. Num- number one with our with our stand episode, we were, we're number fucking one. kicking ass. That's all there is to it. Um, what else? Oh yeah. Hey, I after however many years on YouTube now, I actually have a decent URL where you can find my YouTube channel. It's uh, YouTube dot com slash Super Training TV. So check me out there. That's where uh, the videos of the podcast go. And uh, we will talk to you next time. Oh yeah. Hey, uh, uh, while I'm thinking about it. Um, iTunes, ratings, reviews. We love those. Thanks. Later. Subscribe to Power Magazine at thepowermagazine.com. If you choose the digital edition, you can catch up on all the great back issues, take your training to the next level with Slingshot products and howmuchyoubench.net, and look for PSN products including NO Explode at bodybuilding.com. Mark Bell's Powercast is a production of supertraining.tv.